Good afternoon, friends. Before I start, my very special thanks to uh, Dr. Sanjay Chaudhary and the team for including me in this uh, talk. And my very special thanks to you for giving me the victory extra day. But here I start. This is a different story, a despairing story, a stormy start of the day, because I didn't know what lied beneath. The army was all ready. The war cry was all out. They were all lined up against us. But here I had a war to fight. A nun-eyed patient with a dermalized palace. A 25-year-old woman. Tell me, friends, I need you to have all the fire in me. I needed to use the right weaponry and the right cannonball had to be hit. I had to completely destroy the army. I had to save this vision. I had to get her out of this despair of darkness. I could not allow that. So which meant that I had to be furious. I had to be fiery. I had to throw the right weapon across. You know, you could do different approaches, different attack. You could use a dental lamina and you could fashion it out with a mucous membrane graft. And then once you have done it, you could pass your capro through that. And that could be one approach. Do I go for this? Or do I go for this? Do I go for a type 2 capro? Do I go for a type 1 capro? But there was no other way. That had a long stem. This has not very available. Do I pass through the lid? I really didn't know. But I knew I had to save this woman. And that man across was crazy mad to think that he could fight against the fury and passion which I had, that I had to take this woman across to, from darkness to light. This was a dermalized papillae, panace, all covered. I first decided to separate the lid margins. They did very gently, and the dissection of the panace started. It was a bloodied field. It was a war. There was no other way. The only way was victory, and that's how I would function. And then I very gently, very carefully dissecting. I didn't want any buttonhole there. I wanted this panace intact. And then I retracted it out of me. I slayed all my enemies. I knew it was a bloody field. I knew I had no choices. I didn't know what lied beneath. So I went around. I really didn't know what lied beneath. So I went around separating this layer of panace very gently, very surely. It's very important to know the center of the cornea to place the cylinder. So a partial refination was done, and then a complete dissection was done. And then the cataract was removed in the usual manner. Don't ask me how I felt. The PC was intact. The cylinder was placed. The capo was placed. The anchoring sutures were placed. Would I sigh with relief? No, there was a lot more to be done. And the panace was sutured. It had to heal, it had to cover. But friends, I had hit my first weaponry. What was that enemy across thinking? I had every other weapon to win because the win was the only thing which went through my head. I had to get this woman out of darkness, irrespective of what lies beneath. So with this ferocity, I went forward. It was not necessary I had the weaponry which they might have had. But I had that passion, I had that fire in me. And they were all thrown apart, strewn apart. And there I was, with the panace well covered. A big sigh of relief. And then I cut around the panace and created just that small opening for the cylinder to be seen. I sutured the subjacent conjunctiva. And here was my 25-year-old woman with that cylinder there from a perception of light to 20 by 25 with the speed of the cylinder. The man across just kicked across. What was he thinking? I had a fight. I had a war to fight here. And I could kill thousands of them at this point of time. They were stunned. They were amazed. The clouds were ready to fire off. You know, there could be different situations. There are cases of bilateral thermal injuries where the man is in complete despair and darkness. Then I may not have anything but just a conjunctival pedicle to be created as a flap and then do the different steps of the surgery. I could be in a situation where the panace is completely thin 
and that may not suffice at all. Then I would use a mucous membrane graft and cover that area. And then once the mucous membrane graft adheres, I would then go in and place my capo and then of course do the cataract surgery, position my capo. I would do everything step by step. I had different options open to me. I was clear and so sure that I had any one of these options. But the war had to be won. The team across me had to be destroyed. And we had to win. And friends, you need to remember that it is a bone dry ocular surface on which it had to be fought. And there was nothing but despair in these mad, crazy surgeries. But when you have that amount of passion and anger and a sure shot getting my patient from darkness to light, the win was ours. Don't you think so, friend?